Walter, I'm just impressed that all these folks came out for our show tonight. Well, don't they? Why? Well, it's Iceland. It's not you or us. There's nothing else to do here. <laughs> I know you read up on Iceland a little bit before we came back. Oh, yeah, yeah. What'd you read about? Well, uh, the, the volcanoes. You read about that? Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Imagine something that can erupt at any second and destroy everything in its path. Yep. I'll be darn what I married a volcano. Did you know that Iceland has one of the highest life expectancies in the entire world? I did not know that. Especially women. Huh? Yeah, here a woman's average lifespan is 90 to 100 years. Send my wife home immediately. <laughs> what is this, hell on earth? <laughs> All right, how do you like the food here? Oh, well, very funny. What, I tried some of that, what do you call that? You cannot speak Icelandic without moving your lips, I'm telling you. Think of that, there's no Icelandic ventriloquists ever. I will say though, I think the, the, the folks of Iceland are geniuses. How's that? They know how to keep her from getting overcrowded with foreigners. How's that? Simply by naming the place Iceland. <laughs> it sounds like you'll freeze your ass off. <laughs> Plus, it's easier to say than uh, dark, long winter land where the weather is shit. <laughs> We're morons for naming our country the United States. Sounds way too welcoming. We should have called our country crazy assholes with guns. <laughs> Did you get a chance to go to a volcano? Oh, yes, I did. Did you take your wife? Yes, I did. What'd she think? She kept saying the same thing over and over. What, stop trying to push me in? <laughs> On another subject, did you know that strip clubs are also illegal here? Really? Right. So if I want to see a naked woman, I have to take a six hour flight to Scotland. Or there's your wife. Oh, that's true. In Iceland, it's legal to whale hunt. Nice. What do you think about Iceland? Uh, do they have beer? Yeah. It's my favorite place ever. <laughs> you know, even though it's named Iceland, did you know that the winters here are actually fairly mild? You know, <laughs> well, guess they should have called it chilly. <laughs> uh, it's a joke, half floor. If you eat too much, will you be three quarters four? <laughs> I did a fraction. That was good. <laughs> Have you seen the, the colors of the Icelandic flag? Uh, no, I haven't uh, seen it. There's red for the volcanic fires. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Blue for the mountains in the distance. Yeah. And white for the people. <laughs> Okay, did you know that um, they, they have the oldest tree in Norway right here in Bergen? Fascinating. <laughs> if I want to see some old wood, I'll take a Viagra. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know the first ever ski jumper was from Norway? Let me guess, married and miserable? So you've never been snow skiing? Actually, yes, once. Broke a leg. Oh, well, I bet that hurt. I don't know, what my leg. <laughs> Did you know that Norway is a constitutional monarchy? Oh, yeah, yeah. It means they have a king. <gasps> so it's true. Mm -hmm. Elvis is alive. <laughs> no. Uh, another thing, you, you know, you better not get caught driving drunk. Why? Well, if you're caught, you have to spend 30 days in jail. They suspend your license. And then they fine you 10% of your annual income. So that would be 12 dollars. 
Do you know where I can buy some whiskey around here? Well, in Norway, you can only buy liquor from special stores called, uh, good God. <laughs> How do you say it? Yeah, that. <laughs> so do you know about the Midnight Sun? Huh? The Midnight Sun? Is that Norway's that man? <laughs> no, in the summer, some parts of Norway get 24 hours of sunlight. <laughs> what? <laughs> that they have 24 hours of sunlight. Well, that's almost a whole day. So we've done a lot of interesting things while in Norway. Yeah, this morning I milked a goat. Oh. I can have got mad at me. <laughs> I think I was touching his chick. <laughs> on, on another subject I was talking about with Walter, the Norwegians invented skiing. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. In Norwegian, the word ski means piece of wood. Oh, yeah, a piece of wood. Yeah. Can I try speaking Norwegian? Sure, okay. Um, that hot lady in the front row is giving me a big ski. So have you learned much about Ireland since we got here? Uh, I'd say and, uh, Americans and the Irish pretty much think alike. How's that? Most of us think our government should take a flying fucking leap. <laughs> Well, besides politics, did you know that Bram Stoker, who uh, wrote, uh, who created Dracula, is from Dublin? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know Dracula. No. <laughs> Dracula? You mean the guy who sleeps all day, goes out every night, and can't stop drinking? <laughs> I wonder where Stoker got that idea. <laughs> I once picked up an Irish hitchhiker. You did? Yeah, where was he going? Rehab. <laughs> Have you noted this is a very diverse city? Yes, yes, I saw the black guy. <laughs> Good for you. Did you see the O'Connell Bridge? No, what's that? It's the only bridge in Europe that's as wide as it is long. Oh, I married her. <laughs> is it a toll bridge? No. Oh, well, that's another thing my wife and the bridge have in common. How's that? No one would ever pay to get on her either. <laughs> She's like a sneak Irish. <laughs> you're, not, <laughs> you're not saying anything. No, that they can understand me. So what do you think about Dublin so far? Oh, uh, 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 this is the land of beer. That's right. I know we're going to Israel soon, but while we've been here in Dublin, I've seen pubs everywhere, so I'm pretty sure this is the Holy Land. <laughs> And this is the biggest Alcoholics Anonymous meeting I've ever been to. 